What is happening guys? My name is Jamie. Today we were doing the most disappointing and worst metal albums of the year in one video. 2020 has been jam-packed with absolutely amazing music, but in between there's been shit and piss. I'm giving you my top 10 worst albums of 2020, including disappointing albums as well. So let's go into the shallow water at the moment and let's now give you my disappointing albums of 2020. So first up is going to trigger thousands of people. It is Nightwish Human to Nature. This album is a good album, don't get me wrong, Floor Yarnton's vocals are fantastic on this. But what really bugs me is the second disc. The second disc. The overhyped build up of what was going to be an absolutely amazing second disc. How we were going to get a 30 fucking a minute song of Nightwish performing one of the best music pieces of all time. Well, in my opinion, the second disc was absolute shit. I understand Thomas's creative side, creating a 30 minute song of just orchestral. It just sounded like Disney music, it really did. And I really enjoy music like that. This particular musical piece was, wasn't was good. It was incredibly disappointing. Disc one was really good. I really enjoyed it. I never listened to disc two ever. I just listened to disc one. That's why I gave it six out of 10, which I got massive dislikes on the video. But you know what? I was gonna, gonna give you my honest opinion. The orchestral part was a huge disappointment for, for me because I thought we'd get like a 30 minute song similar to the, great, the greatest show on earth, except we just got, got just an instrumental with basically no guitar, just string arrangements and horns. That's it. So yeah, human to nature is in the most disappointing list. Next up is one of the most overhyped albums of 2020 and they're saying it's one of the best albums of their discography. And you know what, I kindly disagree. It is Trivium, What the Dead Man Say. This is going to piss a lot of people off, especially my mate as well. He's going to say, what? What the Dead Men Say is a good album. It is, it's growing on me. But to be honest, it's the most, it's a very disappointing album, especially on Trivium standards. A Catastrophist was such an awesome song. I really enjoyed Catastrophist. But when the album came out and we heard all the singles, those, in my opinion, are the best songs off the album. And this album is quite lackluster in my opinion. It's quite a lackluster album. It just feels like this is the B side of the sin in the sentence. This is nowhere near as good as the sin in the sentence. The sin in the sentence was an absolute fucking masterpiece. This album is a good album, but it's incredibly disappointing for me. I'm sure it's probably disappointing for a lot of fans. People overhyping this album, absolutely ridiculous. Every other song from the sin in the sentence is way better than this way better than Trivium, What the Dead Men Say. And Bleeding to me is one of the most annoying ballads. We really catchy chorus and it gets really stuck in your head, but God damn it. It's a pretty disappointing album, pretty disappointing album. And yeah, Trivium, What the Dead Men Say is in the disappointing list, not the worst album list. The number one disappointing album for me, and I know a lot of people actually really enjoy this album, but it's a pretty disappointing album for me. It's uh, My Dying Bride. The Ghost of Orion. This really pains me to put this on. Now, My Dying Bride is a fantastic gothic doom metal band. Field of Misery was such an awesome album. And here comes My Dying Bride's The Ghost of Orion. Now, we had such an amazing single, Your Broken Shaw, Your Broken Shaw, which is the best, hands down the best song off the album. This album just seems lackluster. It really does. And it seems like this album doesn't go anywhere. There are just some mediocre songs on this album. Some really slow drawing songs as well. Now I know that I know that I love Doom and I love Gothic metal, but to me this is this is one of the worst, worst My Dying Bride albums. The Ghost of Ryan is still a good album. It's still a good album to enhance sound a hundred times better than the worst albums I'm going to mention. But it just didn't have that same energy that My Dying Bride has. Macabre Cabaret. They released an EP, Macabre Cabaret, and I feel that EP is a hundred times better than the Ghost of fucking Orion. So the Ghost of fucking Orion can get in a fucking bin because quite frankly, I was pretty fucking disappointed in it. I really was. To Outlive the Gods is a pretty good song. Time of Tears is okay. The Solace, yeah. The Ghost of Orion, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, my dying bride goes to Ryan, get in the fucking bin. So we treaded in shallow water and it got a little bit heated as we move into deeper waters and coming at number 10 is Witch Tank Sons of Midwestern Darkness. This album is not very good, it's not a very good album, it's a parody black metal album, holy shit, stay away from it. They try to be funny, they try to be funny, trying to say, oh, black metal satanic, this album isn't very good. It's not a very good album to any black metal standards, it's a parody black metal album that's supposed to be funny, that's supposed to be funny, but holy shit, this album is pretentious and it's a piece of shit. Coming out number nine is Thor Rising. Thor Rising, yeah, Thor Rising, what can I say? This isn't a good album, it isn't. It's uh, got elements of power metal, got elements of progressive metal, but you know what, what really does it is those fucking vocals. Those vocals are terrible. They really are, I didn't really enjoy it. The instrumentals were good, but it's just the vocals. Vocals were terrible, and just his dynamic range was just all over the place. But yeah, Thor Rising is an absolute disgrace. So coming in at number 8 is Anvil Legal At Last, one of the most disappointing albums of the year, that's for sure. Anvil are a great band, a heavy metal thrash band, and Anvil Legal At Last was pretty excited for, but holy shit, this could be easily the disappointing albums, but it's the worst, one of the worst albums of 2020, just because of its overall lyrics, its overall political themes, and not to mention how some songs don't flow, they don't flow at all. At times you hear some black and death metal elements which doesn't really cater within the album, but yeah, Anvil Legal Last is an absolutely terrible album that uh, I wouldn't recommend it to any of you guys to stay the fuck away from Anvil Legal at last. Next up is British Lion, The Burning. This album was a huge fucking disappointment. I think I gave it a 3 out of 10. That's how disappointing I was. It was an official review. And holy shit, I listened to it again. And holy shit, I want to give it a 1 out of 10 now. There are a few good songs off this album. The vocals, the fucking vocals are terrible on this. This is Steve Harris's band from Iron Maiden. Steve Harris shines within Iron Maiden. When we get to the British Lion, it's not a good album. It's very lackluster, it doesn't flow very well, and it's overly bloated. This album is fucking long, it really is. I absolutely adore Iron Maiden long songs, but when it comes with British Lion, I just want to get a knife, stick it in my eye, twist it. Okay, so next up is Carrick Angren, Franken Frankensteiner Stratomentaris. Oh. People say this is the best black metal album of the year, and I highly disagree. I think this album is just a pile of shit. There are much better symphonic fucking black metal albums this year. And you know what? I hated this album. It easily fits into the worst albums of the year. It was like a dog that took a dump on the grass. Someone was following the dog, and this person stood on this pile of shit and walked it all the way through the house. This is what this album is like. This album is a trail of shit. Carrick Anger and Frankenstein and Stratomenteris isn't a good album. The vocals aren't very good. I really enjoy Carrick Anger and I just love how different Carrick Anger is, especially the older albums. But this album is a, is really bad. It's a really bad album and I don't really enjoy it. So yeah, Carrick Anger and Frankenstein and Stratomenteris can get in a fucking bin. Coming up number five is, oh my god. Are you lonesome tonight? Do you miss me? It's, fuck off. Danzig sings Alvis. So a lot of people know that I am a fan of Alvis. I was pretty excited when Danzig was going to release an album called Danzig sings Alvis. And I said, yeah, so Danzig is a pretty good singer. I actually really enjoy his stuff. Oh yeah, well, was I wrong? Oh boy, oh boy. This album is a disgrace to Alvis's legacy. It really is. I don't know what he was thinking. Is it so strange? It's just a oh, dissonant mess. One Night is just terrible. Lonely Blue Boy, yeah. So, baby, let's play house. I don't know what he was thinking with this album. He sounds like a fucking drunken clown instead of Albus. He's singing Albus. I don't know what he was thinking. Always on my mind is just horrible. The production on this album is terrible as well. I mean, Albus' songs are much more heavier than his versions. Are much more heavier than his versions. I mean, the drumming, the production is just terrible. Yeah, this album isn't very good at all. I'm sure a lot of fans of Alvis aren't very happy with this because this album should be burnt in hell and disintegrated in the depths of hell because this album is a load of shit. Danzig sings Alvis. Stay the fuck away from him if you like Alvis. So coming out number four is Yarrow. We made what God could not. This is the worst doom metal album of the year. I don't know what they were thinking. Look, I know they are a small band. I know they are quite a small band. And I feel bad shitting on this band, but... Uh, 
Yeah, not with Yarrow. Not with Yarrow. Vocals, the vocals are absolutely terrible on this. I hate the vocals on this. I hate the vocals. Sounds like a grandmother. Sounds like a fucking grandmother singing on this. Where's my false tooth cut? Grandmother Upstairs is singing on this album. It's not a very good album. The instrumentals aren't very good. They've been inspired by Ahab, Hooded Menace, and other de doom metal bands out there, even Evoken, but it just doesn't translate on this album. This is why I'm so disappointed, and this is why it's one of the worst, the worst fucking albums of 2020. It's just because the overall vocals, the overall tone of this album, the production's horrible, and you know what, my mate, my mate, I said, I said, let's go listen to Yarrow. We, make, we, made, we made what God could not. He laughed. He laughed when he heard those vocals. Not a good album by any standards. So Yarrow, we made what God could not. Can get in a fucking bin. Coming at number three is Liturgy, Origins of the Alimonies. This is one of the worst albums of 2020 and even Unbun Guard people don't really like this album as well. I know this is Unbun Guard black metal, but holy shit, this is very shitty Unbun Guard black metal. Symphonic elements are building throughout most of this album, but he, but, but, she, but her vocal, but whatever, he, she's vocals are not very good, not very good. Respect Hunter's transformation to become a woman, but holy shit, this album is so bad. It really is. I don't like this album. It's nothing to do with what Hunter does outside. It's to do with the music, and this music isn't very good. It's not very good at all. Trap beats are corporate within this album. And it's just a dissonant fucking mess, this album. Holy shit, this album is bad. This album can get castrated big time, big time. Literally, Origin, the Alimonies is a fucking disgrace. Coming at number two is Psychosexual, Torch the Faith. Yeah, this is worse than Liturgy. Worse than Liturgy. So Jeremy from Five Finger Death Punch decided to leave Five Finger Death Punch and decided to become the big daddy or whatever you want to call him. This guy, I don't know what he was thinking. I don't know what he was thinking, to be honest with this album. You know what? No, 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 no. You know what? You know, Psychosexual Torch of Faith is the worst album of the year. Fuck that. Six Feet Under, Nightmares of the Decomposed is way better than Psychosexual Torch of Faith. So I'm swapping Six Feet Under, Nightmares of the Decomposed to number two. Yeah, this album is not a good album. The instrumentals are fire, they really are. But yeah, Chris Barnes' vocals aren't very good on this. That's what he sounds like. Zodiac. 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 <laughs> yeah, this is the worst album by Six Feet Under. I do feel bad sometimes bashing Six Feet Under. You gotta respect his dedication as well. You have to respect his dedication to continue Six Feet Under. But his vocals are shot, man, especially on this album. This is what makes it one of the worst albums of the year. Six Feet Under, Nightmares of the, Com Nightmares of the Decomposed is sitting at number two. So let's go back to Psychosexual, Torch the Faith. Yeah, this album isn't very good. Lyrics are terrible. Jeremy's a fucking asshole. The instrumentals are terrible. It's it's industrial mess. It's, some songs are catchy, but it's it's a it's in a very bad taste. This album is awful. Psychosexual Torture of Faith is the worst fucking album I've heard in my whole entire life. Psychosexual Torture of Faith is the worst fucking album of 2020. And that is the end of this fucking video. So guys, a much more pleasant video coming up for you guys next time. Comment below your worst albums of the year. Do you agree or disagree with my opinion? So keep discussion going in the comment section below and I will see you in the next one.